morning all, it's Ali here, and I go by the name of Ali Pally online. For any of you that are new to my channel, thank you very much for subscribing and to all those that have subscribed. My numbers are going up bit by bit by bit. I always appreciate subs and I always appreciate you sharing my content. You never know who might enjoy it, you just don't, <laughs> even if you don't. <laughs> for this one, I'm going to tell you a little story. And I'm going to tell you about the outfit I'm wearing, show you a few things that I've bought, show you a few things that I've done or made or changed. And I just want to talk to you. I haven't been on for a little while. And there's been things sort of happening in our lives. Some people have reached out and asked me, am I OK? I am OK. My uh, mental health has been a bit up and down because I've been very worried. And I'm not talking, I am a warrior, but I'm not talking about the sort of warriors that spear people. <laughs> I'm talking about, I just worry. If I don't have anything to worry about, I worry about that too. So when things go a bit tits up, um, and as we get older, Simon and I have things that we, we do worry about. This is Rolo, who wants to, clearly wants to get my attention. Oh, he's got grass in his mouth as well. He's our little... I'm going to say puppy, but he's not now. He's a year and a half. I don't know whether I can get him in the picture. Probably. Oh, hang on. There he is. Say hi to everybody. He's a little bugger and he likes to bite me. But I want to tell you my story. Now, last week I had my friend's, I say child loosely. She is, I think she's 15 now. 14, 15, maybe even 16. No, 15. Anyway, it doesn't matter how old she is. But she's absolutely delightful. She comes to see me. She's a little friend of mine. She comes up once a week. She does have some learning difficulties, but she's, it's mainly the sort of attention span, really. But it, she fits in with our family fine because I've got the attention span of a gnat. Anyway, she said to me, Oh, Hallie, I'd like to see some art. Or the drawing. I said, oh, no problem. I'll, I'll get it out for you. So we get out the paints and we start. I give her paper and I get, you know, start putting out paints everywhere. Now, one thing she does, which if you're, you know, when you're children, you know that you squeeze out the tube of paint and you always tend to use too much paint, don't you? I mean, it's just one of those things. Until you're really much older, you don't really understand. Just a tiny bit of paint will do. She decided she wanted to do a rainbow. <laughs> and this rainbow was absolutely was beautiful. She had lovely pictures for her mum and dad. But the rainbow, of course, needed all the colours. So she doesn't mix colours. She just literally empties things, which is absolutely fine with me. That's all part of the fun of doing art. And I was thinking, mm, I don't want to waste these paints because per tube, you're talking about quite a lot of money and I don't like wasting anything and this will you'll see this by what I've been up to anyway while she was here I couldn't get the white top off the paint so we've got it was a big one it was quite a big round uh tub plastic and it, it just glued on so I asked Simon could he come and help me he said go and get the nutcrackers because if I hold the nutcrackers round the top of the lid like this and, and sort of clamp it down, Simon then turns the bottom. Okay, let me just stop here. I've got to have a sip of tea, I'm telling you. So, mm. oh gosh, this is lovely. Anyway, I hope you're sitting comfortably with a cup of tea. You're going to need it for this. But just make sure your mouth is not full when I tell you what happened. We turn, managed to get the top off of the white, I'm holding it here, I mean, turning like this for, for all his might, and we managed to get the lid off the paint pot. And I thought, brilliant. As I put the nutcrackers down and I hold the pot like this, the pot, which had been upside down in the cupboard anyway, so the lid bit, which was probably the palm size of my, the hand, the size of my palm, had filled up the paint and as it as I took the lid like this it slipped I went like that and it popped out my hand and it dropped down to the floor 
Now, I was wearing black because I wasn't ready to do craft work. I hadn't covered myself or anything. I was wearing basically what I'm wearing now. I had a black shirt on. This is the black shirt. As you can see, it is no longer. You can see a little bit of paint here. It was covered right down this side. It covered my V's that I'm wearing here, all down the middle here, little section, all down there and all up here. Now, in a previous video, I've shown you these um, bits of fabric that I was given. And one of the bits of fabric was like, um, I think what they call it, an, an Indian um, applique piece. And this is it. Well, I, it also came with two sections, extra sections down on, on the piece of material. It had this on and it had two uh, pieces. This is the piece. These are the pieces like this. Well, I, I couldn't stop laughing. First of all, I thought, well, the paint will come off, no problem. Of course, it didn't come off. Acrylic paint onto black cotton, white acrylic paint, and tons of it. I mean, when it that when that lid hit the floor, it couldn't have aimed better. It went between my legs, up here, up here, up to here. And, well, I couldn't stop laughing. Anyway, when she'd gone home and we'd managed to pull ourselves together because I couldn't stop laughing, I came back and realised, actually, I had a problem on my hands. I'm going to move this down so you can see. So I took the sections of this panel and what I did was I sewed this on by hand over the paint, which had shot up here, I got as much of the paint off as possible. But of course, the paint had also gone to this side here. So I cut the shirt, what, was, what was, wasn't what was painty, and did a patch here and a patch. I had to do two patches on the flap. Here, you can see I put one on there and there. And then what I did on this black top that I'd made a while ago but hadn't actually worn it much, I thought, well, how am I going to pull it all together? So I put the, the front part, appliqued that on. I had to do it all by hand. And I also added, with bias binding, red to correlate with this, with the, with the, um, with the bottoms, and a little red button because... There is a circle on here and I wanted it just to sort of blend in. You can see on the pockets of this. These are sort of Thai harem trousers and I love them so much. I'll just move you up a bit. So you can see what happened. Well, I would call this now a happy accident because one, this is being used and two, I don't know about you, but I bloody love it. I bloody love it. I laugh. I'm laughing at myself because you know when something's always better when you see it in action. Had we managed to get this onto YouTube, it would have been YouTube gold. The paint going everywhere. Oh, it would have been YouTube gold. Anyway, this set me off to thinking about weddings that I've got to go to next year. Okay, so I'm moving on now from the happy accident and the painting and my friend's gorgeous daughter that couldn't stop laughing to weddings. I've got two weddings to go to next year, one on the 4th of April and one on the 5th. And they're both uh, friends of mine who have daughters and they all know each other, but they just happen to have picked the day next to each other. Let's have this happen. Try some other glitter. So, when I was wearing this, or making this, I was thinking, got me thinking about the wedding, what am I going to wear, what am I going to wear, what am I going to wear. I have gone and bought myself a really lovely top for the wedding. However, all this sparkle, and anyone that knows me well knows I love my bling. And I showed you these last time, which are costume jewellery. I showed you these last time, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think I paid the grand total of, oh, I don't know what it was, 
think it was, I say, £20 for them, I think so. So absolutely a gorgeous, and, I'm and I have a ring on it that matches perfectly, which cost me all of £12. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've gone a bit fast in there. This one, this ring here, cost me £12. The only thing I would say about, I got three of these rings. I got one in blue, one in, oh, here we go, ignore that ring. You can see I got three of them and they cost me £12 each. Uh, the only thing is they do itch after I've worn them a little while. They're supposed to be nickel free. I tend to be okay if I wear silver or gold, but sometimes costume jewellery doesn't always suit me. Sometimes it's absolutely fine. It, it all depends. But how useful is this? I bought these some years ago. So I wear the blue ones with the blue earrings. And while I was out, I found, oh, I found this just divine green. Now, this is a modern copy of an old piece of paste jewellery. Does that make sense to you? And this green collar, oops, you can see how I love my bling. Again, matched the green ring perfectly. I'm going to put it on for you. These go on easily. It can be a bit fiddly because I can't see what I'm doing. And a lot of this costume jewellery does require a certain amount of help. Please go on. We tried to make a video. Be nice. Come on, you can do this. Oh, for goodness sake. Clearly I can't. Okay, I do need help with this, but I'm going to show you just how gorgeous this is. Look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? I'm totally and utterly carried away with this now this piece she charged me only again 12 pounds for i was like what 12 quid and that i got it in a in you know and that ring goes perfectly with it the um because of the the shape of the stones i've got these sort of baguette elongated baguette pretend emeralds in them look at that look at that oh my god i'm just completely amazed and this was on um i think it was an antique fair yes it was it was an antique fair in winchester last week well it had to be done i spotted it i had to get it a couple of days before that simon had bought me this this was an idea again maybe for a wedding maybe just because it's got to be worn i'll show you this Let's see if i can get this one on again without help these things can be very tricky there we go <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, girls and boys. God almighty. I'm completely and utterly in love. This was £20. And this is from a store who, um, and this is a, a genuine, I say genuine, they're all genuine, but they're old. This is an old paste piece. And with it, I've got these long, again, just costume jewellery, cost me all of a fiver, I think. Uh, let's try and get one in. Oh, come on. Why is it when you're making videos that the ear, your earrings and things like that never, ever, ever, ever go on or you can't do them in a timely manner? It's enough to drive you barking, isn't it? Let's pop these on now. So as you can see, Don't they look gorgeous? These were about a fiver. These were 20 quid. For 25 pounds, you can look like the queen. And nobody really would know. I mean, of course they're going to know. Because, it, you know. But old paste jewellery is absolutely beautiful. I've also got this that can go with it. Nothing like less is more. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not one of these people for... Uh, Less is more. I'm more, more is more. I don't believe in that. Some people say, well, less is more, Ali. I don't think so. So with all this, isn't it just fabulous? I'm so pleased. So this is the story of the happy accident. I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while. That is the end of my story. Oh, I've nearly missed the clip. I've also found this clip. This clip has got a magnetic piece to it. And this is supposed to clip, I think, either over shoes 
or there we go, onto a piece of clothing like this. And again, oh my God, Ali meets the Queen. We're there. <laughs> so anyway, I'm so yeah, as I was saying, I'm so sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've been doing a lot of YouTube watching, a lot of drama watching, stuff like that, but my mind really hasn't been on making videos. Um, I have been doing some other sewing pieces, which I will be putting up for you. Again, I really hope that you're all well, and I do appreciate every view, and I really appreciate everybody that comes to my channel. Um, I don't have, a, of course, a, a minuscule channel, but I do enjoy making videos sometimes, and I really love the contact that I have with the people that respond. Love you all. Take care. Bye.